Okay, so I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about presentation. So, um, <clears throat> for mine, what I've done is I've tested out my media, I've got my experimentation with paint, and then I've kind of got my, uh, you know, experimentation. I've done it in a slightly weird order. Um, but it's all quite neat, quite sort of on the page. And then I've got my plastic bag printing and I didn't show you this on camera, but I said I might do it. I did actually print onto the bit that I was using to protect the table as well. Um, <clears throat> and then I just wrote a little bit of annotation. So I just made a concertina Ooh. with those. So did a few different compositions with my plastic bag. Um, and then I said in the video, I'm keeping this one and I'm going to turn it into a window in here, in this page, so that you can um, open it up and see through it. Now, usually I would use a craft knife and I do have a Stanley knife, but it is so blunt that I can't use it. So if you've got a Stanley knife or a craft knife of some sort, then obviously you can use that. Just make sure that you put uh, some cardboard or if you've got a cutting mat, obviously that's the best thing to use underneath the pages that you're cutting out because otherwise you'll just cut through your book. Now I'm gonna do two pages um, with a hole in just so that it gets it's nice and neat around the edges on both sides of my thing I'll show you um, because otherwise you'd have one side that was really nice and neat and then the other side would just have that plastic stuck on it um, so I'm going to do that with scissors um, and just kind of show you how I would do it with scissors it's going to be quite tricky because I've got this Thing. So I might masking tape that down so that I can show you. Um, yeah, so I'll do my best. All right. So the first thing I did was put a rubber underneath and then stab a hole into the rubber so that I wouldn't ruin the rest of my book. Um, you could use a piece of cardboard or something if you didn't want if you didn't have a rubber to hand. Um, then I cut out the shape. I cut it. Um, slightly bigger than I drew my shape just because I knew that um, I'd drawn it out so that my, you could see my picture through it so it needed to be slightly bigger. Um, then I always glue onto the paper um, rather than whatever you're sticking in just because you want your pages to stick together but you also don't want any glue in the window bit. Um, then I trimmed down a piece of plastic and really carefully placed it on and then stretched it out so I wouldn't have any wrinkles. Okay, so I've done that now and um, I've got that window which I really like when you open it up to the light. Um, and just to show you, so now you've got a neat edge on both sides and if you just cut out one one thing you'd have all of this stuff that you can kind of see when I put the light through it showing at the back which I just think looks a bit messy so if you if you can cut through two now obviously if I had been a bit more sensible I would have used a ruler to do these lines um but I think it it looks okay and just to show you this one again so yeah so now you've got all of the printing and the plastic bag that you used there so it's really really easy to see how you did things okay 